how can you learn to do this? If you're a health practitioner, a healer, or would like to become a natural healer, uh, <clears throat> you may be wondering, how can you learn to do this kind of testing, in-person uh, and also remote testing? Uh, and so there's, there's several different methods that we're using. Uh, the new ones that we're adding are systems that other people have developed that are, are newer automated systems. And the reason that we're doing that is because there's a shorter learning curve on, on the automated systems. So that's a great place to start. Uh, and so we can help you uh, experience those. The, one of the best ways to start really is by being a client in the, the coaching and healing process for accelerated self-healing. Because for one thing, you know, you, you become familiar with the process on a, a more intimate personal level and this is going to give you the, the insight and the compassion to work with others more effectively. And, and the deeper reason is that the, the healthier you are as a healer, the better you are as a healer. In order to, for example, to do remote testing like I do uh, as a surrogate, you can only discover that which you're able to resonate with in yourself. So the more degrees of freedom you have in your own energy system, the more you'll be able to find out about the people you're working with and the more accurate you'll be. Uh, in the work in Germany, when they began to look at the differences between different practitioners in their study groups, when they test the same person, they'd find slightly different information because this is uh, we're testing a system that's not in isolation. There really is no system in isolation. There's no truly 100% controlled study. And in this work where we're working with subtle energy that's involved in life and communication, biocommunication and consciousness and the spirit, there's no way to isolate the tester from the person being tested. You, yes, you can become more objective, especially through your mindset and more accurate through your own clarity, internal spaciousness and flexibility to be able to energetically take up the perspective of the person that you're testing. But what they found in those studies of inter-rater variability in Germany, it was they came up with a new concept, one of the things that we test routinely in every uh, bio, remote biofield test, and that's black bands. They found that, they, they called it black bands, they identified areas within the practitioner that were chronic weak areas that either would get perceptually projected onto many of the people that they're testing. In other words, practitioner A has an issue still with his colon health, and when he tests people, he finds a lot of people with colon issues. Not that a lot of people don't have colon, colon issues, but there would be uh, a projection, an inaccuracy, an imprecision in, in that where he's seeing in the patients an energy pattern that's reflected actually from his own body. And the, they also see, saw the opposite with black bands, where it would become a blind spot. Uh, so it, it, they'd see patients who have colon issues where their body is trying to actively heal that colon issue, but he, as, because of the black band in his own energy system, he wouldn't be able to, visual, uh, to receive that, that light uh, biocommunication from, from the, the patient and, and properly identify that. So, uh, so again, the reasons would be to, in order to, to learn this process, to engage in it yourself, in order to become familiar and start learning the process. You'll have questions along the way, you'll, you'll be learning the process, and we have lots of materials to support that, with our books and D DVDs and uh, uh, courses, etc. You can, of course, come to Hawaii and do an apprenticeship as well, and, and that's ultimately the way to learn hands-on the, the actual techniques that, that we're doing here. Uh, and we can adapt the techniques to you, like train people in the various modalities of German uh, elect diagnostic electroacupuncture, uh, kinesiology, muscle testing, like the Omura O-ring, although my method varies from that. It's more, uh, more sensitive to, to subtle energy, uses less energy, more sustainable through the day if you're doing a lot of testing. Uh, and other methods, again, depending on your skills, your uh, facility with these different modalities. Uh, they say, you know, maybe 20% of, of people can just sit down and do some of these kinds of energy testing, whether it's electrodermal or muscle testing, and, and uh, uh, most people can learn it with practice. It takes time. It's a learning curve. And again, that's why we're bringing on the automated systems. It's not a, not a substitute, but it actually adds additional information 
and there's a, a crossover, a, a confirmation of information that we see showing up in multiple uh, systems. So anytime you're looking for subtle information, if you can confirm it by looking from another angle, another angle, you know, an additional test that, that gives you more of a three-dimensional view. It's like having two eyes, seeing slightly different views, there's a similarity, the overlap gives you the confirmation, and the difference gives you the depth.